I read that uh, commencement speech again and again, and I can't believe how much I agree with the speech. Uh, the president told us that, you know, many people went into public service, but they didn't go into politics, and he urged us to go into politics. He also said something that interested me greatly. He said that uh, often uh, professors of political science don't have respect for politicians, and they should, certainly should, because if we didn't have people helping people get elected, we wouldn't have good people elected. And uh, I found that out. I went back and got a master's in politics, and uh, my professor would tell me things that I'd sit there and say, no, that's not true, but he didn't want to hear that. Well, of course, it was very exciting. It was our graduation day, and we were thrilled to have a young, vibrant, uh, handsome, uh, person here speaking to our graduation. Of course, uh, Trinity had been lucky. I uh, it was chairman of We Can Do It. I believe it was my junior year. And uh, I asked Senator Kennedy, who was a senator then, to come over and speak at Trinity. And he spoke in the social hall. And I charged 50 cents. Uh, and so this was a thrill that he was back again for the second time. The 1960 convention I did not attend. I had just had my first uh, daughter. Uh, my mother let my husband go, and she stayed with me, and uh, she never forgave me for that. But it was uh, an exciting uh, convention that we all watched, and uh, it was thrilling for Daddy. Of course, he was then made national chairman. Uh, in 1960, uh, when President Kennedy was elected the first Catholic president, it was an incredible thrill. My father had written a thesis that had been uh, all around the country in op-eds and uh, everywhere covered why a Catholic should be or could be a president. So for Catholics, this was something absolutely uh, to be delighted by. And, and it, what was so beautiful was he was a very active Catholic and he, he, he was proud of his Catholic faith. There's a picture of uh, myself and my daughter Eleanor with President Kennedy in the Oval Office. And it was taken exactly one month to the day before he was shot. And in fact, that Georgetowner put it on its cover for years after that. Uh, it, it was a special picture, and um, it, it always makes me think of how kind and wonderful he was. And we've, we all have that picture in all our houses. What I hoped this new young president would be would be uh, just a wonderful uh, example of, of being a, a wonderful American, a wonderful Catholic, a wonderful leader. And of course, he proved all that. The thought that he couldn't complete his term is a heartbreak that this whole country is celebrating right now. When I say celebrating, I think it's wonderful that we're remembering him because he was incredibly special. Like everybody else, I remember the day that John Kennedy was shot. I was in a doctor's office and I heard it over his sound system. Uh, my little girl had tonsillitis. Um, my father was in Texas, so it was, it was an unbelievable time. I immediately left and went home, and my mother was trying to find out what was like the whole world, what was going on. It was a heartbreaking day, and it was for the rest of uh, that horrible week that we all mourned, and it, it was the saddest thing. We couldn't believe it. I don't think we give him enough credit for beginning the Civil Rights Act legislation. Uh, as we know, that continues to be a subject that we are all incredibly interested in. And if he hadn't started it, Lyndon Johnson couldn't have finished it. What I admired in uh, Senator Kennedy continues to be admired. Recently, I was in uh, Western Africa, in Sierra Leone, and we met with the Peace Corps young people that were there. And there was a young boy, oh, he seemed so young to me. And he talked about the reason he went into the Peace Corps was President Kennedy. And I think with this celebration of his memory, it's going to continue this uh, having young people relate with President Kennedy and know that you can be young and you can be vibrant and you can go into politics. Well, there's optimism from Senator Kennedy in the country, but there's also optimism in his family. His uh, nephew, one of his nephews, is now in Congress, and another of his nephews lives in Connecticut, is running for the state Senate. So this... Uh, Respect for running for office is, I think, one of his greatest legacies.